And welcome back. I'm Terry Lacona with Austin City Limits. We're back on stage with Jack Ingram, Miranda Lambert, and John Randall, otherwise known as the Marfa Gang. <laughs> and you needed a band name. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. We're going to just chat for a few minutes, and uh, which it's a tough act to follow with just chat, but we're going to give it our best shot here and basically talk a little more about the story behind this. And I want to start, though, with the story behind how you all became friends. I mean... Miranda, you mentioned that you've known each other for, for something like 20 years, but you've crossed paths with a lot of different people over the years, all three of you. How did, how did you make this connection and become such tight friends? We all met at different times. Uh, I met Jack when I was 16 or 17, following him around, watching his shows in Texas. She was actually opening, she played in between, it was at a festival in Nacogdoches. And my transmission was broken, so I couldn't move. I, had, I got there at noon, <laughs> and she sang in between every artist until I came up. And I kept listening to her songs and her sound. I was like, "Who's that?" <laughs> and uh, we became fast friends. Yeah, and I'm at Jr. Uh, we were signed to Sony at the same time, uh, almost two decades ago. <laughs> it's crazy. Think about it. and um and like I had heard about him and knew about him, but. Then we went and did all the grind together, like signing at a label. So, and yeah. then y'all met. I don't know how y'all y'all met at a bar. We have differing stories. He well, he, both of them are at bars. Yeah. So we met at one <laughs> bar or another bar. We just don't know which bar. We met it was. at Green Hall and yeah. Granite Falls. Yeah. yeah. It almost but, seems like Miranda. They're like the uh, the the big brothers you don't have in in real life. Yeah, they are. There's that a, mean. There's a certain bond there. There's definitely we we get along. We act like we don't, but we do. Yeah. <laughs> For the most part. So, but then how did you all start writing songs together? Well, we, he kept talking about going to Marfa. Hey, we all need to escape. Let's go to Marfa. And she found a great way to escape. A great reason. Yeah. <laughs> she wanted to go to a place where there were no grocery stores with magazines on the rack <laughs> in 2015, if you may recall. <laughs> that's Marfa, yeah. among other yeah, things. That's it. But yeah, well, Miranda called me. She's like, I, I want to get out of here. You're always talking about Marfa. And, uh, and I, I just want to go, I want to, I want to clear my head and I want to go and, and Jack's playing in Midland. Let's go, let's go to Midland. Let's go see Jack play and let's get, just take a road trip out. And I don't think we ever went, I mean, we took guitars and it's like, maybe we'll write some songs, but it wasn't necessarily, we're going to go out there and write. It's like, we're going to go out there as friends. I'm going to show you guys this place that I love. And, uh, and everything that happened after that was was so the goal by is the not to the write universe. songs. And, you know, I think most people assume it's a real natural thing for people to get together and write songs together. But, as you know better than me, it takes a certain magic, chemistry, whatever, you know, to, to be able to do that and to really write good songs. To wit, Tin Man and Tequila Does are the best examples I can think of of him. So, um, well, I think it has to do with being really good friends. Mm -hmm. And starting off at a, you know, anytime you write with somebody else, a collaboration of, of any sort, you have to kind of shed all your baggage. It's kind of like a mind meld going yeah, on you there gotta just, too. You got to uh, trust each other. To, willing to mm -hmm. be trust. there in your underwear. Yeah, yeah you got to trust each other. Be there in your underwear. <laughs> Sounds like the next song from the Marvel <laughs> Tapes Volume 2. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest enough to say that that line don't work or, you know, we need to try We're going in the wrong direction. Let's start over. Oh, these two yeah. fight. I mean, Geraldine, <laughs> these two got in a giant knockdown drag out. And I went and made, I think I made two cocktails by the time it was over. two cocktails while we argued. Yeah. While, yeah. While, while we fought, you finished the song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, guys, we're good. Here. Y'all want in? <laughs> so the, the story behind the Marfa tapes, though, it's not like you all just packed up uh, during the pandemic and drove out there for five days and wrote all these songs. You had been out there a few different times, right? We've been going to Marfa since 2015. We went three times. About every couple of years, we would find each other again and group text or call each other and go, it's time. We all felt it. And every time it was like, we all needed it right then, and the last time we went was last September, and that's where we sat around listening to all the tapes from just our, you know, work tapes on our phones from all those years of writing, and we were like, let's, what if we just put these out, and we realized we went through them all together, and we realized you couldn't hear some of it, so we thought, let's just take a couple of microphones and a badass Brendan Bell, an engineer, and record them one time on the hill out in the backyard in the house just really raw and that's exactly what it is 
It wouldn't have been the same if you just came back to Nashville or a studio someplace else and recorded all of those songs. No. <clears throat> you needed to be there in the element, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, well there's were... a moment of creation mm -hmm. that's magical. Mm -hmm. Like when you when you start writing a song and you think you're going somewhere and then somebody lands on the hook and or what kind of summary some summarizes what the song is about and you go oh and it's like seeing a shooting star and it, which is you know which happens a lot out there that's that, i think that's the draw is to bring people into that moment where you get the chills for the first time and you go this is worth fighting for and when and when we say we took an engineer out there we did not make a record record in that traditional no, sense we, but poor, poor brandon, brandon. <laughs> rolling brandon he, he literally took three Three microphones out, and I mean, you can hear people walking across the rocks. You can hear the cows, the winds blowing, and the microphones. Like, it was just to try to get a better representation of what that moment was. But there's nothing remotely slick or studio about the way no. we approached the recording of this. We we wanted hear, everybody to be there. You could even hear a border patrol helicopter. Yeah. Right there in Tequila does. Yep. Right when we mm -hmm. said, uh, "Border town buzz." Border town the, buzz. It comes the over. Border patrol flies over. We're like, <laughs> and on cue. Cue the helicopter. <laughs> So without giving addresses, I don't think there actually are addresses out there, but where did y'all stay? Were you in town, on the edge of town, or just out there in the middle of nowhere? We should give a shout out to Liz. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Liz Lambert has, uh, a, has yes. a ranch out there. She's famous a, around here in the <laughs> Yeah. And she's just been phenomenal. She, you know, any time we've called, it's like, hey, we're trying to get together. She's like, tell me the dates. And she opens up her ranch house and we just go there and breathe and she's a huge part of this this project yeah we're so thankful huge to part her of this and project. me and her talked on the phone um a couple of times and we're trying to figure out if we're related <laughs> 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 we don't know yet i wouldn't be surprised el cosmico among other places mm -hmm. out there i love it out there i've been out there like four times in the last year i was there two weeks ago so i know exactly yeah. where you're all coming from and you may or may not know about this one highway highway 2810 kind of on the edge of town mm -hmm. It's this beautiful paved road, striped, and it goes 44 miles and then stops in the middle of the mountains. But that is the road. If you want to see the sunset mm -hmm. out there, just drive a few miles outside on that outside of town on the road, lay on the hood of your car, and like you said, look up at the stars. And if you don't believe in seeing the Milky Way, if it's, if it's possible to see the Milky Way, just try that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you'll be a believer it after is. that. Absolutely. So. Well, I'm glad you're with us because you understand yeah. you've been there. <laughs> I definitely do. Yeah. Did you did you make it make it into town at all to go to any of the? Oh, we know, got that chicken fried steak. Chicken fried yeah. steak. Uh huh. The one at um. The pistachio and crusted chicken fried steak with the jalapeno gravy at Jet's Grill. Yes, we uh -huh. did. <laughs> Come on, there's a lost <laughs> horse in the world. Lost horse saloon and Marfa burrito and yep. cactus liquors and yeah. all those. All yes. that, you yeah. know. Well, as far as the songs, the individual songs themselves. Um, a lot of them are based on stories or on people, characters, things that happen to all of you in your lives. And some of it, I'm sure, is just, just made up. Absolutely. That's most of it's not made up, unfortunately, unfortunately. Most of it's like... <laughs> it's poetic we, license yeah, at, it at is. best. <laughs> we just meet each other where we are, you know. we Somebody shows up with a something with on their heart. Bre breaking heart, yeah. broken. Yeah, and we just we go with it, or somebody shows up with a with pure joy, and we chase that, you know. I think Geraldine is my personal favorite song out of all of the ones that you did, and I guess um, it's sort of made up, but based on real people. Oh yeah, you know, we, all, people we all know the Geraldine. Met, we all know who we mean. Know the Geraldine. <laughs> Maybe she makes me so mad because I'm too much rocker. And sorry to all the really cool, sweet Geraldines out there. We tried to misspell it so it didn't like yeah, the yeah. T silent. <laughs> that na so that song, the name came from a uh, Geraldine. The name came from uh, Heart One Highways because uh, in that movie, um, Towns' dog is named Geraldine. And I just always thought that was a cool name, and we just we just put her, we painted her in a we negative light. Yeah. But she was a sweet German Shepherd. That's right. <laughs> And it just sounds great the way you say Geraldine, sing Geraldine in the song, you know? You got to stutter because you got to get so that mad. G -g 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 yeah, yeah. G -g -g Geraldine. Be mad. yeah. I almost, the only song I mess up every time, no matter what, we've sang that song maybe five times only, but I always mess it up because I get worked up. You already get angry. I get angry right away. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, hard to do. Fighting mode. <laughs> the last question I want to ask you is kind of an obvious one. How does it feel? after 
over a year of this pandemic and being forced to stay home or just not being able to get out on stage and sing and play with your friends. Um, how did it feel being out here tonight with a real live audience on the stage at Austin City Limits? I don't think we've processed it no, yet. No, I'm still buzzing so hard from it. I'm I mean, still t 12 years old seeing, uh, seeing Kev Mo on, on the show and going, yeah. what's going on there? And then seeing Willie and Jerry Jeff and going, whatever I do, I'm going to get there. Like, yeah. We're just, we're so thankful and it feels like a dream, honestly. It's been a whirlwind getting to not only be here in front of a crowd, but like to do this, just to get to yeah. play songs we love, mm -hmm. but no pressure and no craziness, just us and them. It was really awesome. This is the first full set we played Ever. as a band <laughs> on ACL. <laughs> Talk about first Thank you for having faith in us. <laughs> our first performance so was on at the Grand Ole Opry, and our, and, our set, and our first real show was at Austin City Limits. Yes. That's awesome. That's Pretty what great. songs do for you. What's next? Well, um, <laughs> <laughs> Terry, what you got for us next? <laughs> well, we got a lot more shows to come this year. Hopefully, this is the first. It's a great way to begin. Great. And we're so proud to have you all be here, you know, Honored. pandemic Honored or otherwise, to just to be able to have you all do these songs on our stage. You know, you've seen the show often enough that we used to do these songwriter in the round shows back in the day with Willie and Whitey Schaefer and mm -hmm. Floyd Tillman. Yeah. And Willie, Waylon, and Lyle, Lyle and, and all guy. kinds of people, Rodney, would come and do this sort of show, which is really hard to pull together because you've got to find the right singer, songwriters who've got that, right, that kind of chemistry and friendship mm -hmm. um, and who aren't afraid to get on a stage together and, and just kind of pass it around. We're yeah. not afraid. You know? Yeah. <laughs> we probably should be a little more afraid, <laughs> we but be. we did it. <laughs> no, you were great. Thanks once again. We're going to let you go and enjoy the rest of your night. Maybe, uh, I don't know what you'll do to celebrate, but I think. <laughs> right at, start volume two. We'll leave yeah, that. Yeah, start volume we'll two. We had a song we called a, Walking on Stage. We to Marfa in an hour. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, there is an airport somewhere out there. Yeah, think, somewhere out there. We found it. Sincere thanks, Terry. Yeah, yeah thank right. you. So you much. Bet. Our thank pleasure. You. Believe me.